least one, if not two, sometimes all three kids. If they knew where I was going, they would be going with me. But my grandmother took them today. My husband is home and is going to pick them up from their grandmother's later. So I am so low. I am excited about it. Let's go to the Dollar Tree. All right, I am done at the Dollar Tree. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I spent $62.24, so it's a big haul. I'm hoping that I won't do this big of a haul each time that I do one of these Dollar Tree videos, but there was a lot of things that caught my eye. I haven't been there for quite a long time, so I'm just gonna jump right in and show you everything I got from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and I am filming in my car and it is busy, so I'm just going to, gonna go with it. I'm gonna go through everything here. Bag one, I grabbed several of these inflatable summer items. This is a pineapple. I grabbed a flamingo. And there's another one, but I don't know where it's at. So I will, when I come to it, I will show it to you. But th these are for, um, I'm going to do an end of the summer, or end of the summer, end of the summer, end of the school year, welcome to summer party. And so when the kids wake up on their last day of school, I will have it all set up. So that's what these are for. Uh, let's see. Napkins are also for that. They're in a cute shape of a watermelon. That will be like for their special breakfast. If I have my husband just grab donuts or something. Some of uh, just grab some utensils and their school colors. And I have a um, preschooler who is graduating from his daycare preschool. Uh, in two days, so I grabbed this to put in his, I'm going to make them a, like a, a little, oh goodness words, a basket of goodies, and this is going to go in his goodies, it says grad 2023, little duck, little stuff there. when they're done with school, I'm going to make this into like a pin the tail on the dinosaur. I have one dinosaur lover and I thought he would enjoy that. I grabbed a couple of these to hang up for that party. This one has really cute little gnomes on it. And it says summer. And then this one is a, an orange and it says hello summer. Here are a couple more of those inflatable decor items. I grabbed a carrot and also a big beach ball. This is not for the summer party, but uh, my daughter, I'm sure this year she'll want a Mariah Elizabeth birthday, and this just reminded me of Mariah Elizabeth. So I'm going to get that and put it into our container for storage for that. And my son, I'm sure he'll want a dinosaur party and they have a dinosaur balloon. These are both balloons. So I'm going to save that for an upcoming birthday. And now all of a sudden I am dying in a feet here. Okay. For, what's it for? For their um, like little goodie basket, I grabbed them each one of these Fab Five fun bags, like wine bags. There's two in this bag. I'm going to grab another one. I just don't know where it's at. I think we'll come across it. And then some brand name toys that I found. I found a Jurassic World toy uh, for my dinosaur lover. It's like the micro collection. Uh, for my junk journal, I found this. I've never seen this before. It's Elmer's glue. It's spray adhesive. So I thought that would be good to use, but I also grabbed some glue dots and just their store brand to have for pages, two pages. And also one of these Crafter Square uh, roller cutters. That, that would be helpful. Okay, next I grabbed, this was just really cute. It's a big reusable a grocery bag and it has the gnomes on it like the 4th of July gnomes and 
I just thought it was cute, so I grabbed that. What else? Where am I going to next? About that. Next bag. Here's that other Fab Five bag, that wine bag for my third kiddo. I found in the Barbie brand, um, the Barbie Dreamtopia brand, a little tea set for my daughter's Barbies. You put that like in her end of the school year gift bag. Uh, for their party party, I thought that they would all like to have one of these cute little I don't know, cups. So I got ice creams, the watermelon, and the carrots. One for each kid. I thought these were really cute. These are the letter, they're letter tiles, but they're like the, of the game, Scrabble. They're in black and white, and then they had some in just like the regular wood color. I thought these would be really cute to put in your junk journal. Same for the ribbon, this chevron um, print, like burlap ribbon was caught my eye. Basically how I gauged uh, things for the junk journal today, if it caught my eye, I, gra I grabbed it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the pages yet, but I'm excited to get started. I grabbed some Crafter Square crafting paper and these really cute little animals. And the reason, oh, there's a couple that I wanted, but the owl being one of them and the mushrooms, but the mushrooms were cute. So they look like this. They have a little deer, a couple. There's that little owl. What else do we got here? The bunny rabbit. Just precious. Cute little fox. What else is there? A little bird. So that's the number one. And a squirrel. and the mushrooms. So super cute. Next from this bag, I thought this was really cute. I'm probably going to give this to my daughter uh, for her junk journal. It's a noodles journal and it has like ramen noodles and shrimp and peppers and chopsticks and it's like a pink and red color. That was really cute. That'll probably be a good size for her junk journal. I grabbed one. Uh, it's a removable tile decal, like a, what is it called? Wallpaper sticker. But this, I don't know if I can get that to focus. This really um, caught my eye. And I thought that'd be perfect, like to cut in half maybe and uh, use it on a page or even like fold it over onto two pages. But that was fun. It's really pretty silver color. I grab these stickers, grab quite a few stickers, but these ones are like the donut stickers, um, just regular alphabet stickers with little donut toppings on them. For that party I grabbed a rainbow to put on the table for decoration and for my junk journal my apologies to Dr. Michael Krieger but I'm going to use this book <laughs> I'm going to take this cover off holy cow $32.50 but at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 if you're interested, the book is How Not to Diet, which might be interesting, but that's not what I'm using it for. It has this really pretty red color cover on it. I'm going to do something to the spine, maybe paint it. It has this cool building on it, like emblem, and it's very thick. So that will give me plenty of pages to make my own. And uh, yeah, probably should read it, but instead I'm going to going to make it a, into a journal. So that's that's going to be my journal. My junk journal. 
Okay, what else is in here? I got a couple of these modeling clays to throw in my youngest basket. Um, goodie basket for after the last day of school because he is really into stuff like this. And I also got him this uh, Creative Kids uh, like air, air Play-Doh stuff. He loves slime, he loves Play-Doh, he loves anything like this. So that is what is in that bag. Okay, and in this last bag, I grabbed one of these custom cutting mats to cut pages on. These look interesting. I need some new um, makeup removers. These are the Bio Miracle um, Aloe Vera uh, Facial Cleansing Towelettes. So, a package of those. Another one of those spray glues, just because they're kind of small. Let's see, more stickers. I went ahead and put these in the cart. These um, are like glitter. This is home is where the heart is, and it has like little houses and it looks like our little dog or our big dog, Sadie. So I grabbed this. We are moving shortly, and I thought, like to states, we're moving to states, and I thought this would be something special to put in my journal as I take pictures and pick up things along the way, along the, the journey of moving from one state to another. My daughter is obsessed with owls, and so I grabbed these owl stickers so she can put some in her journal or probably put one or two in mine. They're just really pretty, uh, different color and patterned owls. And because I am a child, <laughs> I grabbed the Lisa Frank. A sticker pad like this is my childhood like where my daughter is now her age like seven years old eight years old nine years old I love Lisa Frank and so I grabbed one of these I mean it even it's just the smell of it just reminds me of that time of decorating and I uh, just loved Lisa Frank stuff so we'll both use those some food items that I grabbed, and that's it. Food items are the last thing, I believe. Um, this is for me at my desk. Sit at my desk all day and code. I'm a medical coder, and so snacks are nice. <laughs> snacks uh, cut down the mundane, the mundane coding. I got some of these Mamba um, Berry Tasty Peaches for my kids and for myself, and then for my youngest for his. Uh, to go in his end of the school year basket. Some of these gummy bananas. He had these at a store that's local to us and he really liked those. So I'm gonna put those in his little basket. And that is it. That's everything I grabbed from Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll consider sticking around and I look forward to bringing you more of these fun stuff as I gather more things for journaling and as I just find more fun finds at the Dollar Tree. And I hope you will uh, join me next time probably probably next week for another one of these videos. I will see you in the meantime. Have a good week, good rest of your week, and I'll see you later. Bye.